Health Minister Dr. Joe Pasha, together with the Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Training, Buti Manamela, have launched a youth vaccination drive at the Tswane Tivet College. The drive is aimed at encouraging young people to go out and get their jabs. This, as some institutions have issued mandatory vaccination policies. Lindo Gutukulu, following this story for us, joining us now to tell us the latest. Lindo, good afternoon. So, what's been happening there? What's the latest? Is the message being received well by the students? Well, first of all, Brad, then the message is from the health minister as well as the um, uh, deputy minister in the higher education and training sector. They're saying that let young people convince young people to get the jab. So the message would then be coming from young people according uh, to this particular program. It's a program that says, get ready, I am ready to get vaccinated. It's essentially what the Department of Health would like to hear young people saying after being engaged in uh, these kinds of, uh, uh, you know, talks of uh, the hesitancy around vaccines, uh, why they're not getting their jabs and some of the myths that they've uh, been able to address even today. So today was not necessarily a a launch that you would have the health minister talk to some of these uh, young people. It was, in fact, a, a launch that was more of a dialogue uh, that it consisted of a panel of uh, young people, including young doctors, to essentially engage young people in some of their concerns when it comes to vaccinations. I mean, at the current stage, we understand that uh, just a, a little over 5 million uh, young people between the age of uh, between the ages of 18 to 34 have already gotten their jabs, but this is a concern for the health department and other relevant departments such as the department of higher education and training because that means that 12 million more young people have still not gotten their jobs so that's the target market those are the markets that they are trying to reach with a conversation with an understanding so this particular uh, ready program seeks to speak to young people speak to their concerns but using young people at the forefront as the mouthpiece for government to advocate for some of these vaccines Okay, so it, it's, it's sort of being launched, it's being talked about, and uh, it's going to be targeting at, um, at, at education institutions, particularly the TVET colleges? That's right, but then they'll be obviously going to young people, reaching them where they are in terms of occupying spaces. TVET colleges, universities are some of the places that will be targeted, but they did not underestimate this in terms of uh, the effect that there are many young people that are at home, there are many young people that are unemployed as far as our unemployment figures are concerned. So they are actually planning on having a network of doctors that would uh, create an outreach in terms of rural areas, uh, townships, and all sorts of areas where you find young people that are not vaccinated at this stage. And it's essentially just trying to have young people be at the forefront. And they're targeting uh, young doctors that will be able to engage on a more personal level with young people as far as these vaccinations are concerned. I'm not sure, but then I was told that we'd be able to just showcase in terms of uh, the completion of some of the things that happened today as far as a look live is concerned that we've prepared. Uh, but if there is, but then we'll take a look at it in terms of of what is it exactly that had happened and what is the aim for government in terms of reaching young people that are seen as the ones not going to get their vaccines. The Department of Health and the Department of Higher Education have jointly supported and launched the GIREDI I Am Ready to Vaccinate program. This is to allow the youth to be at the forefront of influencing more young people to get the jab. Out of 17 million plus of the 18 to 34 year olds, only 5 million have gotten their jabs. Health Minister Joe Patler says he's hoping this program will help get that cohort to step up. We are here basically to say government can only do up to a certain level. Uh, for us to succeed, we must let go some of this initiative, get particular constituencies within our society. Uh, if it's the young people, let them run with the program. The program has also brought in young doctors to deal with causes of doubt among young people to get vaccinated. These doctors will also be working on building a network nationally to take this program to communities far and wide. In some village somewhere, someone can go to their local doctor and have that vaccine conversation, which is sometimes uncomfortable, and so that they can sort of get the information at the ground, on the level. That's why we're trying to build this network. Playing host to this launch is the Tuane Tivet College. Its student leaders also believe that young people leading will produce the results. This platform actually allows us as young people 
to actually ask the relevant questions to the relevant department, having the government come down to our level and answer and, and some of the concerns that we have. So basically that's all this, um, this event is about, is making sure that the government answers our concerns and um, gets us to the right direction. The Department of Health says it's ready to let go and allow other groups such as the religious sector to lead the vaccination awareness campaign among its constituencies. Lindogu Shekulu, Tswane.